guys, welcome back. This is the Blue Boo S3 review. I've been using it for a week. Let's get into it. So this is around £130. You can get this from TomTop or uh, Banggood. Gearbest, for some reason, don't stock this at the moment. Um, build quality overall is good. Obviously, it's a very, very thick smartphone. Quite heavy, 8,500 milliamp battery. Although it's got a large battery, I did expect slightly longer screen on time. I only managed eight hours and 56 minutes for the, the best result. I also got eight hours and 20. Um, I was probably suspecting maybe double figures because uh, I use this all week. This is my daily driver, which I always do on all my uh, smartphones that I review. I use them fully for a whole week. Didn't do too much gaming on it either. So um, a lot of gaming on this will reduce that even further. Definitely expected better battery life. It's still only got Android 7 as well. It does say Android 8.1 on the box and even on the website. I've checked for updates, but still no Android 8.1. And to be honest, I don't think it's gonna get it. And maybe other devices, other Blue Boo S3 devices probably won't get it either. Uh, but looks wise, it does look great. Thick, heavy, but there is a slight build quality issue here. A little click. It is a plastic back, but I've noticed this little click. It does have a fantastic, beautiful metal frame, very, very solid around the edge of the smartphone. So it does feel a rigid, solid smartphone until obviously you start clicking the back of the smartphone. It does have Corning Gorilla Glass on the front as well. I've managed to find that on the on their website, and I haven't had any scratches or marks at all on there. So. Um, on the whole, it's good, apart from the clicky back. The S3 has an octa-core processor and a Mali T860, which does help with um, gaming and performance on the smartphone. And although it's not Android 8.1 just yet, um, Android 7 performs quite well, and um, navigating through the phone and opening apps is smooth and not really a problem at all. Obviously network dependent on some of the apps, but I've not experienced any lags. So that's LED notification. You can just see that blinking slightly red, um, just near the camera up there, near the earpiece. And obviously that's blinking because it is low on battery. It's 6% at the moment. Hopefully I can finish this whole review with that amount of battery. So the FHD plus sharp display. That has been one of the, the plus points. Six inch, 2160 by 1080p. Very, very good. Let's get on to the, the camera, which I haven't really been impressed with. Uh, normally when I'm using a smartphone, I like to enjoy using the camera. I didn't really enjoy using it. Um, you'd get some good shots, obviously with, uh, with decent lighting conditions. That's not a bad shot. But what you'll see in a moment are, some can be rather blurry at times, slightly overexposed. And you really have to concentrate and keep your phone steady to get a good, clean shot. That one's slightly overexposed. That one is as well. And doesn't handle movement very well either. EIS works fine. That works nice on video. Uh, but when it gets darker, you do notice the EIS mode is slightly darker with it on than off. Have a look, guys, and you'll see what I mean. And let me know your thoughts.
going? What's your fingers? EIS is working okay here. Yeah. <laughs> the front facing camera on the Blue Blue S3. This has got EIS enabled as well. Seems quite smooth actually. A little walk around so we're in, in daylight. Isn't too bad. It's a little bit blurry in places. That's the Blue Blue S3. It's not that good with the IS off. Quite shaky. Oh, you dropped my pizza. Oh, yeah. oh you have to make me another one now, aren't you? But Okay, this one will take this take camera. This will oh. not again. <laughs> you dropped it. it again. How am I supposed to eat that? And you've done it again. <laughs> I'll, I'll just leave these. Do you expect me, the customer, to eat that still? Yeah. Okay. It still tastes nice even though it's been on the floor. Yeah. Now I'll be the customer. Hmm. You, you be the customer now, yeah? Okay. And also with it only being Android 7, they also mentioned on the website there's a Face ID, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be coming with the Android 8 update, which probably is never going to come. So although it's on the site that it's got Face ID, on this one it actually hasn't if it's got Android 7, which is a bit of a bum really. NFC is on the phone, so that's good. And Google Pay installs on here just, just right, and it works. I mean, that's pretty good, £130 phone with NFC. That is rather good. So let me show you the bands that are currently on the phone. Band mode, SIM 1. So the LTE bands. So we've got band 1 to 5 and then band 7 and 8. Uh, band 17, 19 and band 20. And then the bottom 38, 39, 40 and 41. So it's got a good selection of bands on the on 4G. The GPS test now. Uh, I had to take screenshots earlier of that. The 24 feet isn't very accurate, and it does make you doubt. You know, this this it makes me doubt this GPS test um, app because actually in real life, when you're actually using GPS on Google Navigation, I had no problem whatsoever. It was accurate. It was on time. It was on point. So, don't really know what to say there. But um, you can see the evidence on the left here. Google Navigation was was fine. Um, might be having an off day, I don't know. But in terms of actual use, it was fine. Okay, PUBG. It does load. Uh, this, when you first start it up, though, it starts in low graphic settings, and I'm going to keep it at that because um, I played it before, and I think if we did increase it, it wouldn't be any good. Now, I was playing this the other day, and I can tell you this phone gets really hot really hot in fact that hot sometimes you can't really hold it around the the metal frame ideal if i had a uh, a remote control or something like that so the graphics obviously are not as detailed in um in normal mode 
Now I can tell you, I've only had this on for like five minutes. I'm about to plug it in as well, because I've only got 5% battery. And that is really hot already. Another five minutes, and I probably won't be able to touch that, if I'm being honest. Well, I'm being honest. Let's see what we've got. That's why I'm, I've got it on the stand, so I don't really need to hold it. Because um, it's a shame because it's a, it's a nice big and thick foam because I've got big hands. It's quite easy to hold and, and control than your smaller and sort of thinner phones. Is that a car? Is that a working car? Yes, it is. I'm in a car. Oh, a bit sensitive. Let's get out of there, it's boring, let's get on this bike. It's like Grand Theft Auto, this is. What sort of bike's that? I'm pulling to one side. Oh, he's shooting me. Oh, crap. I just killed myself. I just bloody killed myself, haven't I? What an idiot. Right, let's... Um, see, that's still 5% and I'm still charging. It's not even going up. Wow. Honestly, guys, honestly. That is... So hot around this frame. Yeah, it's not very nice. Let's turn that off. Some of you may be aware the new Jurassic uh, game, Jurassic World Alive. So it does need GPS. You don't need a gyroscope, what like you do with um, Pokemon Go. You have a little drone here. You have to fire um, bullets or needles at them. But gameplay on here is smooth. Obviously it relies on internet connection and GPS. Actually, I don't know if it relies on internet connection. Come on, before my battery runs out. That's the annoying thing, you only get a certain amount of battery on your um, drone or whatever you're using to fly and capture these um, dinosaurs. Okay, so that is the gaming. It gets very hot. Yeah, if I held it any longer, a shame, a very, very, a very big shame that is. Let's show you a speed test, 4G EE. Okay, so decent enough speeds, and throughout the whole week, I've had no problems with 4G connectivity. It's been good. The fingerprint sensor has been working fine throughout the whole week. Responsive and quite quick. That's good. I'm highlighting the screen again, guys, because the display on this smartphone is very good. A sharp FHD plus display, 2160 by 1080p and a 18 by nine aspect ratio. Some phone, some things on this phone aren't great, but the display certainly is. Audio on this smartphone, in terms of quality and loudness, does go very loud. This is a bit of music that one of my friends uh, has made, and I will be using on my channel from time to time. It's good volume to the um, 
to the phone. You can still hear it, even covered like that. It's a decent loudspeaker in terms of volume, but I've definitely heard better in terms of sound quality. Thanks for letting me use it in my video. Okay, that is my review on the Blue Blue S3. It's 130 pounds, so I'd say it's an affordable smartphone. But I'm gonna say you probably get better smartphones for the price. It looks good, build quality is very good, apart from the little clicky back. Display is excellent. It's re I really love the display, it's really good. Has NFC on there, which is a great plus for a, such a cheap smartphone. Battery life is good, but for the size and the thickness of the phone, I'd have expected better uh, battery life, and I'm sure um, some of you would agree as well. It's supposed to be Android 8.1, but still it's only Android 7, and I don't think it's going to be upgraded. The camera, I didn't enjoy using it. You have to really concentrate and keep the phone still to get a decent shot, um, even videos as well, some overexposed, and it does struggle to focus. Autofocus, although it... it it looks as if it works. You have to click the screen sometimes as well to really get the uh, the focus working. Um, in terms of performance, it's fine. Navigating through the phone, gaming, it's fine. But it gets really hot, like really, really hot. That's obviously, it's cooling down now. I think Blue Boo have got a lot of work to do um, to nail it. But that's it guys, that is my full honest review on the Blue Boo S3. Um, it does look, a great phone, I'm sure you'd agree, but there's certain aspects that do need improving. Links are in the description. Any comments, please comment down below. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.